Why is it important that the hero experience false hope? Oh, uh, false hope is a very necessary point in the hero's journey, the protagonist's journey, because without it, there won't be a context for the surrender at the end of the second act. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say, um, oh, I'm trying to think of a story. Well, let, 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 let's, let's just, let's just say a character, let's say I want Sally to love me so I'll be complete, okay? The false hope is the moment where um, I have a first date with Sally and we kiss and yes, I'm gonna get what I want. But what I want is for, for Sally to love me, but the reason I want it is so that I'll be complete. Okay, so the false hope is, it's sort of like going to Vegas and putting a nickel in the slot and a dime comes out and you go, by midnight I'll be a millionaire. I just doubled my money. And then the next day you leave town on a greyhound. That's the, the false hope is the misperception the protagonist has about their situation. Okay, what the, 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 the false hope is where the protagonist is not yet aware that that what they're struggling with is not a problem, it's a dilemma. They think they've got a problem, they don't. They've got a dilemma. Okay, and so, so that's what the false hope is. Ah, oh, interesting, okay. Without the false hope, no context for the surrender. We don't understand what they're surrendering because the protagonist isn't surrendering, I'm not surrendering my desire for Sally at the end of the second act. I'm surrendering, I, I'm letting go of the realization that as long as I believe that Sally will complete me, I'm, I'm screwed. Okay, so that's, I'm surrendering the meaning I make out of my goal. I'm not surrendering my goal. The goal never goes away. I never stop wanting Sally to love me. By the way, is this Billy Crystal's POV and When Harry Met Sally? Or no, 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 okay. no, no, I'm <laughs> just, <laughs> sorry. No, no, no. I wasn't, I'm just, I was picturing them in the restaurant scene. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, Okay, yeah. no, okay. <laughs> I'm just, using, just using. I'm just using. Right, Sally. Sally, yeah. It's just. Yeah. I always. I. I don't know why I was talking about Sally in my. Sure, it's like a codependent relationship, and you're <laughs> you're thinking that this person is going to complete you, and and or just, whatever uh, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. It could be about if if the theme is if if the theme is freedom. You know, I was talking about the the prison. I have to let go of the belief that escape will lead to freedom. If it's justice. I have to let go of the false belief that, so the false hope, let's say, let's say my story is about justice. I want justice. They screwed me over. I'm going to get revenge. The false hope is yes, revenge is within my reach. Okay. That would be the, that would be the false hope moment. Uh, the surrender would be the realization that an eye for an eye leaves the whole world, world blind. Okay. So the end of act two, uh, there is no such thing as, um, justice through revenge. You know, and then I might discover that justice comes through a wider perspective, perhaps compassion, you know, understanding my situation in a new way. Does that make sense? So, so the, the, the false hope is, is where I believe uh, I, that I, I believe that through revenge, I will, uh, justice will be meted out.